I was looking for a PTZ that would work with the Huddlecam RS-232 controller. An excellent controller. It does everything you'd want to do with a controller. It's got great reviews. Only $300. Probably one of the most inexpensive ones you can find. It works great. But uh, finding a PTZ, trying to save some money, I went out to eBay looking to find out if, the, if uh, I could get one that was a quality digital camera with a good zoom. I didn't care if it was older. I just wanted it to work right. So I found the Vadio Clearview uh, HD USB PTZ. So I was wondering if it would work with the Huddle Cam controller. Now they're both Visca protocol, which is the Sony protocol for operating these, this camera. So I searched everywhere and went on looking into trying to find videos on YouTube, trying to looking onto forums, trying to find a, some information that would tell me that yes, somebody has actually paired up this controller with this camera and, and it worked. Couldn't find information anywhere. So long story short, to tell you, yes, you can do it. It can be done. So if you're in the same situation I'm in, you were looking around, you couldn't find the information, it can be done. Uh, in fact, here's proof right here. Okay, it does work. But it's not simply a matter of connecting it. Because what I did was I ended up emailing HuddleCam. I emailed Vadio. I both told them what I was trying to do. Would these work together? They said, oh yeah, they would work together. So I, I went and bought the camera. I have this. I had to buy this adapter. Uh, cost ten dollars on eBay. I brought it home, connected a standard Ethernet cable to it. It didn't work. So what do I do? Well, I remembered in the manuals for both of these, it showed the pinouts for the for the controller and the camera. So what I found out was that the pinouts don't match. So I took a old serial cable that uh, I pretty much butchered, as you can see, tore it apart, but I used the colors, and I matched them up to the adapter, like so. So what I, then I took a, any continuity tester will work. I took a, uh, an ohmmeter, and I used the different colors, and I matched them up to this end right here, the pins, and I figured out what the pins were. I only was concerned with, according to the, to the instructions, pins 2, 3, and 5. Um, pins 2 is the pin 2 on the controller, is the receive side. Pin 3 is the transmit side, and pin 5 is the ground. On the Vadio PTZ, pin 6 is the ground, pin 7 is the receive, and pin 8 is the, is the transmit. So you can see the problem. The signal was coming out of here, but it wasn't making it into here. So after I figured out what the, the pinouts were, going onto this end, I plugged in my, an Ethernet cable. On the here, and then I plug this guy back in, and I went to the other end of the Ethernet cable with a, again with an ohmmeter, and I checked each one of these, and I matched up, so I knew on this side now which one is pins, uh, what what pin two, pin three, and pin five match up on here. Once I figured that out, I was able to take an RJ45X, an RJ45 connector, which is what the Vadia uses, and I was able to put, put in the correct colors to correspond to the controller. So the correct colors, if you're going to do this, if you don't have the technical ability or you don't have the tools, I mean, this thing doesn't cost a whole lot on eBay, these ends are cheap. But or on Amazon, but if you don't have the tools or you're not sure what you want to do, any IT guy can do this for you. Uh, this is using the most Ethernet cables today use the T568B standard. So this is the correct colors for that type of cable for that um, type of patch cord. So you would use on the PTZ side, you would use the blue white on pin six, the green white on pin 7, and the green on pin 8. 
And you have to do it that way, and you have to be careful. And remember, the transmit of, on the controller corresponds to the receive on the PTZ. The receive on the controller corresponds to the transmit on the PTZ. So you got to be careful you don't want to reverse those or it won't work. Uh, obviously, um, the ground is ground. You don't have to worry about that. So anyway, I, I, put, the, I put the end on it. Uh, correct colors according to what I just did. Plugged it in. And it worked. And I was very happy because I saved a lot of money. And I was able to make this, uh, this work well. So I hope this helps if you're in the same situation I'm in. If you're wondering, there you go. It will work. And um, it'll work quite well, for, actually. So that's it. Take care.